Okay, well, we're back again, and let's look at another combination here. This one actually uses the combination that we studied in the last video, but in a little bit different way, uh, to count a slightly different situation. Um, this is going to be the most complicated of the ones we looked at so far. Uh, it's going to be, we're going to count where the order doesn't matter and repeats are allowed. So let me give you a, a real world example of this and kind of see if we can get to where we need to be. So suppose you're placing a food order for a group of eight people at a fast food restaurant. Each one will choose one of four meals. How many different orders can we place at the drive through window? Notice that we can and actually must repeat some meals here. With eight people and only four meals to choose from, at least one of them has got to be chosen more than once. So, you know, you might have, you know, two, two each, two, type, two number one meals, two number two meals, two number three meals, two number four meals, or they could be mixed up different ways. You don't have to choose them all. Maybe nobody chooses a number two meal. But, but you're choosing, uh, you're choosing from n equals four meals, we're choosing k uh, meals from that. So k people are choosing. And notice when you drive up to the drive through window, the, the order is the same as far as they're concerned, regardless of who ends up getting those meals. They just want to know how many of them you're ordering. You can sort out who gets them later on. So, so that doesn't really come into play. Now, there's one way we can keep up with this, and let's, let's do it this way. Let's take a blank for each of the eight people. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to put three dividers, which is n minus one dividers. Now, this gives us a way of representing how many uh, of each meal are chosen. So, for example, this arrangement of dividers says... The number of blanks to the left of the first one says there, there are two number one meals here. Between these two dividers, there are three blanks, so there's three number two meals. There's no blanks here, so there's zero type three meals. And there are three blanks at the end, so that is three type four meals. Now think about that a minute and convince yourself that that was, is one way we could keep track of the order. So you could just kind of give it, to it, this, give it this way. If you need to, pause it and think about that a minute. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're, you can think of this sort of two ways. We have the, what do we have? We have N plus K minus 1 blanks total. Uh, you have N minus 1 of them have the, the dividers in them, and K of them are blanks. So you can think of it as, Either the ways of ordering the k blanks, or ways of ordering the uh, ways of putting choosing choosing without order actually the k blanks, or choosing without order the n minus one dividers. Well, either way you go, that's a combination, and so you can think of that as the total number of blanks is 8 plus 4 minus 1, so that's 11 minus 1, uh, uh, 12 minus 1 is 11. And we're going to see how many ways we can choose the three, um, three dividers, the ones that have the dividers in them. So that's just 11 choose 3. Uh, alternately, uh, alternately, we can say, take those 11 blanks, uh, and, and say which were the eight ones that are going to be left blank without a divider. So that's 11 choose 8. So 11 choose 3, 11 choose 8, either one it works. And so uh, you can see the 11 choose 3 or 11 choose 8, either way is 165. So there are 165 different possible orders in this scenario. So um, here's what it turns out to be. So we're counting the choices where the order doesn't matter and repeats are allowed this time. The difference in the last one repeats uh, were not allowed. And we're choosing from a set of indistinct objects an unordered set of k of these objects. n is a natural number, k is a whole number, and this time k could be larger than n. Again, repeats are allowed. 
So you can do it with replacement. So the number of choices is, a, is distributing the k blanks in n minus 1 dividers among n plus k minus 1 positions. So this world works out to be the combination or binomial coefficient n plus k minus 1 choose k or which is the same thing as n plus k minus 1 choose n minus 1. So let's do another example and see if you got it. How many different boxes containing 10 wedges of cheese can be made by using wedges of cheddar, Edam, Gouda, and Swiss? Okay, work this out, come back. Okay, if you think about it, it's the same set, same kind of thing. We're choosing k equals 10 items from a group of n equals 4 items where the order doesn't matter and repetition is allowed. So there would be... Uh, Let's see, it would be n plus k minus 1, 10 plus 4, minus 1 is 13, right? And we're going to choose the, uh, well, two ways to think about it. We're either taking those 13 and choosing the, the n minus 1, which is 3, or we're choosing the four, uh, the four different things that we started with, k, uh, I mean, uh, choosing the 10 different items from that. So 13 choose 3 or 13 choose 10. Either way, that's 286. Now, I just want to make a point. I'm, I'm doing this to be complete, and we're going to do this one. Uh, I will, in my class, I will have a homework problem on this, but this particular technique will not show up on the practice test and exam. So if you can figure out how to do this on the homework, uh, you don't have to worry about it too much on the exam. Okay. But we're going to come back and see how these last four techniques that we've studied in the last four videos uh, can be organized in a summary video uh, a couple more down the road here.